we want to reflect this triangle ABC uh, in the X axis. Uh, so let's have a crack at this. Uh, it's a little bit trickier because if you look carefully, you'll notice that the triangle actually crosses um, the mirror line, which is X. So this is our mirror line here. It goes across. So that's going to be the mirror line. And every time, any time, I should say, the shape crosses over the mirror line, it makes it a little bit awkward. Um, also, you'll notice that this particular point, point C, is right on the mirror line, and that is a special uh, location for points to be. So let's have a look at how we would actually go ahead and reflect these points, and then ultimately the shape. So one of the things that you do when you do your reflections is you're obviously referring always back to the mirror line. And if we're going to have a point, let's say the point was here that we wanted to reflect, okay? What you need to do is... We're reflecting an axis x, so the x-axis, we basically have to count the distance, or calculate the distance from the point to the mirror line. And in this case, it's kind of easy because we just have to follow the grid lines. So it's one step, two steps. And then we repeat on the other side. One step, two step, and here's where the new point would be. So it's really simple. The main thing that you need to remember when you do your reflections is that you're moving from to calculate the distance from the point to the mirror line needs to intersect that mirror line at 90 degrees at 90 degrees you just make sure it intersects at 90 degrees and then for sure you're going in the right direction so let's give it a go uh, let's deal with point a first it's way over here so it's nice and easy so we just count right so let's do that it's one two three, four, five, six, six steps to the line of reflection, the x-axis. So we just repeat that on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here. Okay, so this is the location of the reflection of A, and we would label that a dash. The dash indicates it's an image, it's a copy of the original. Let's look at point B. Uh, now, point B is, B is interesting because it is already on this side of the x-axis. Uh, we did A. A was on the opposite side of the x-axis, and we ended up on this side. This time, we're starting on this side, and we're going to actually end up on this side of the x-axis. Nice and simple. From B to the x-axis is one step. So we repeat it on the other side, one step. And so, point B, dash, is here, and we're left now with C. Now, C's on the mirror line, it's on the x-axis, so it doesn't move. However, it is the site of the image as well, of C, which is C, dash. Now, we should draw our shape. So, let's draw it. So, it's one. two and three and job done